So once upon a time, I was a waitress at this little restaurant and we did this thing called tip share. They only did it for a few months because as you can imagine, it didn't work really well. But how it worked was like this. There would be say, you know, 10 waitresses every night and we would put all of our tips in a jar and then share them. That way if somebody got stuck in a crummy section or whatever, then you know, it should be more fair. But what we noticed instead is that we had, you know, a couple of 16 year olds who were working because their mom made them and that kind of thing. And they thought that customers didn't matter. So they were rude to the customers sometimes. And what, what I realized was happening is um, at the end of the night, no matter how hard I worked and how much money I should have earned, he got to take home the exact same amount that I did. And that is how the pay point works. If you are signing up minimum qualifiers, shame. If you teach your team that customers don't matter, shame, shame again. Now don't be mad at me. It just basically comes down to the fact that once other people's decisions affect everyone's paycheck, it has to be addressed. So if, if it makes it simpler to sign people up by doing a wholesale club, I get that. But the fact is, it's affecting everyone's paycheck. So you have to you have to flip the way you look at it. And tip share is the best way I could think of because if I was paid on the value of what my team did, if I was paid a pay point value based on solely on how much volume my team sold per active ambassador, my pay point would be way higher than the company average. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because something has to shift. And since I have said it probably 20 times on here in different ways over the last several months since the pay point has started to drop, um, I figure then ju that just keeping it real is the best way to do it. And um, I really honestly believe, I don't think there's any evil among us. I believe there's two, two different things, either misunderstanding or hard-headedness and pride. And if hard-headedness and pride are your problem, like I've always done it this way, I don't know any other way to do it, then that's why videos like this get made. Because I think now that we've seen the decline, 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 decline of the value of the pay point, it's fairly simple to say that people will probably start listening now, if they haven't already. <laughs> and instead of going for easier easy ambassadors easy ways to sign up ambassadors whatever go for the quality ambassadors i'm not bragging on myself jetty and i have worked our butts off to make sure we sign up quality ambassadors but we've made our mistakes along the way and at this point now it's just to the point that we feel like we are true leaders in the company and the only reason we feel like that is because leadership in the company is just now starting to really happen not that there haven't been leaders, I'm just saying we're all just now starting to realize what we have. Um, we're all starting to realize that we we are. <laughs> if there are um, questions to be asked rather than looking for, around for an answer, uh, we're the ones that have to give the answers. We are the leaders of this company. Not just Jetty and myself, I'm talking to all of us. We are the ones who we're the ones who people look to. And as scary as that is, it's an honor, it's an obligation, and it's not to be taken lightly. And I feel like since everyone's paycheck reflects how we train, I think it's ob our obligation to make sure that we're all putting our fair share in the tip jar. Peace out.